Uh, hello, uh, it is I, uh, your friend Jeffrey K. Horcrims, uh, your internet friend, indeed. There's going to be a lot of horse shit, Annie. You're just going to have to endure it. There's this whole intro yeah, phase in the beginning. Just... Twitch is a strange place. I, I will help you. I will help you. I'm but scared. No, 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 you're going to be fine. <laughs> the waters that is this no, no, fiendish. No, you, you've got this. You've got this deep down. Now, uh, gathered friends, uh, however it came to be, uh, you have stumbled ass backwards. Uh, into Acquisitions Intoxicated Twitch's Brewing Show. Uh, I am joined, as virtually always, uh, by Acquisitions Intoxicated Brewmaster Eric J. Benson, though Ooh. it's possible that you don't know who that is. Uh, you may know him by one of his other names. You may know him as Edge Benson. It's like, um... The Notorious EJB. <laughs> Azerbaijan. Uh, any one of these, he'll he'll come calling, of course. But uh, I'm kind of surprised, like Patrick hasn't come in with a new name. Like, he, he, it's usually like once a month. Or he's something. slipping. Yeah, he's slipping. No, um, but you may notice these other strange <laughs> organisms uh, here at the acquisitions intoxicated stage. You good? No, nope. you good. good, good. I'm excited. We have you're some really cool stuff. You're still here. in sober. Yeah. Um, so check this out. So uh, we have Annie Johnson, brewmaster. Mm. Uh, we also have Greg White uh, from Pico Brew. Uh, and you might see this device that we have over here, uh, which is the Pico Brew Z. Uh, and indeed, we have the step filter mm -hmm. for the Pico Brew Z out over here. Um, uh, it's, it's essentially, we were able to get one just to check out, like borrow check out on the show. Long-term uh, loan. Long-term loan. We have uh, messed around with it a little bit already. To determine uh, the audio, fantastic. We'll determine yeah, that that fantastic, fantastic. the audio <laughs> uh, aspect of it. You might recall that we had to create a hermetic chamber uh, <laughs> down in the front, <laughs> down in the front of our set, uh, to contain the audio uh, aspect of it. This is quite a different situation here. As thus far, I am quite, quite pleased with it. Um, so, but let me harangue you about some of the stuff that you like. Let me start with you, Greg, first. Because the menu up front has a bunch of, it has a bunch of things that I would not describe as beer. That's a good call. <laughs> solid, solid Absolutely. observation. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a completely new software stack for the Z. We've taken a lot of our experience with our previous hardware models and tried to apply them to a better brewing experience. Yeah. And in the menu, not only do we have things like beer, which is, you know, everyone's favorite, but we also have the ability to create cold brew with this machine. We have the ability to do sous vide with this machine on that menu. And also it's fully compatible with the rest of the Pico ecosystem, mm -hmm. including mm -hmm. the Pico still. So if you have a, a license, you can distill spirits. Um, if you don't, you can actually make bitters for drinks. Mm -hmm. You can uh, distill essential oils yeah, or hop, hop oils. oils. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have said, peak, you have said the Pico ecosystem multiple times while you've been in the office. <laughs> Pico system seems... Yeah, it, it, like the done thing. I mean, it's we can we can lose a syllable, <laughs> and we don't, and and we're fine. Everybody would know what we, you meant. The Bruniverse. Bruniverse. Free. Bruniverse. Okay. There we go. Well, Bruniverse. I, got, I got. I just got tooled. Yeah. On my own show. <laughs> now, uh, so you put together a bunch of that shit. So as as sort of like the brewmaster. So it's it's super it's super super cool, uh, Annie, that you're here because you basically taught me and probably most people who have a pico, like how to brew. Ah. Like, I watch those YouTube videos, like, relentlessly. I would watch it, especially the cleaning one. Yes, And yes, it's like, because it's not a joke. Like, <laughs> like, like when you are, you are looking at me in this video, and I'm like, she's going to know. If I fucking, if I skip go, a step. if I skip a step, mm -hmm. there's some krausen, you know what I mean, that's still in there. I, I'm going to get in trouble, and you're going to know somehow. But, I mean, so, like, basically, the entire, like, family of people who use these devices... Like, you have many sort of, like, brewer children yeah. um, out there. Oh, I'm a like mama. No, it's <laughs> true, though. It's true. It's true. I learned how to do this from you. Um, and so, first of all, I really appreciate it. But second of all, so, I mean, you've probably had more of an opportunity to mess with the new shit uh, than anybody on the, on the brew side. What yes. Is, what is neat about it? Uh, for you, and in fact, some of the stuff that you think yeah. is neat about it is probably here because this is the I mean, step filter is a major improvement over the last. I mean, I love the Zymatic, yeah, as I told you, but the, we all had good times with yeah. it. Right? Yes, but it just like your uh, your phone and things you need, you have to have the, the second iteration, third, sure. and, 
And so there's a lot of changes. So this is newly designed. Right. So you don't have the cracks. Yeah. You don't have the leaking, the old uh, mash filter screens and the screens under the hopped cages were one thing that drove me nuts because mm. they were really light and I thought flimsy. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. who to blame for that, but yeah. <laughs> not me. <laughs> but but yeah, there'd yeah. be. I mean, ultimately there'd be yeah. uh, bending or warping, yeah. like around the frame, like a screen door. Um, and then obviously, once it once it started to crack and started to give you problems, yeah. Then, as a device, like ostensibly, it's like a brewing appliance that's designed to save you time. It's yeah. like you can do all this stuff with three kettles. Exactly. Like this actually has to be better. Like it does. For you to use it, right? Yeah, it does. So, you know, with, like, this new design and the weight of it and just the small things thinking, oh, okay, let's put little feet on it mm -hmm. so you can pick it up. <laughs> and not, you know, in the old days when you're cleaning, yeah. it used to, it, bur it burned. Yeah. Because it, it was hot. hot. Yeah. Uh, it's over 200 at, at that, you know, time. It was 200 plus degrees. So it's on both sides. Yeah. Oh, the grips are on both sides. Yeah. Uh, so there's no uh, putting it in uh, the wrong way. Yeah. And all the edges are rounded now. I kind of feel like for the old folks, Carol Merrill, when I'm pointing, so you don't have yeah, the yeah. cracking. So yeah. now you have some of the design. And then the way that the lid fits, oh. it's seated. It is. It yeah. rests. It rests in yeah. firm. And as you'll see on the Z, the the there's no more overflows. Oh, we'll because see. Because everything's changed, and all the guts from yeah. the old Zymatic that were mm -hmm. on the bottom are now on the top. Yeah. Well, so yeah. you should know, like for for our purpose, um, <laughs> we have seen the occasional overflow here on the show in terms of um, even just in terms of it uh, being level. And you were telling me before the show that. These feet yeah. are the twisty kind yeah. that you can use to make those slight adjustments on the table. Yes, yeah, and if you if for some reason there is um, some type of overflow, it will be minor. I I think I've seen a tablespoonful. <laughs> oh yeah, but okay, that so was from a bump um, or something really dramatic, and then there's a little portal on the side. So the, I mean the the drain tray that was in front of the other one was more aesthetic. It wasn't really meant to be used. I, that is. But boy, did it come in handy. The, 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 the drain. The other stuff yeah. there was the, the, shit. The, the, the drain tray was more aesthetic. Is yeah. the most diplomatic. <laughs> that is so kind. So far, and my so personality gentle. is the dipper. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's true. I mean, and I've I mean, I've I have cleaned out my share. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I spent a lot of time in there with Fine. you know a lot of paper towels. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Going nuts on it, but what I—I I mean, I, on, on behalf of our CTO, oh, no. I apologize. No, well, no, but I mean, the truth <laughs> is that we all love the device. We just we wanted the Z. Yes, right. Yes, and so yes. I think the biggest vote through. of confidence. <laughs> yes, yeah. I mean, certainly for our friends at at home, uh, I think the biggest vote of confidence in terms of leaks or things like that is that it doesn't even have that. In yeah. the front, it, yeah. it, it is not a part of the yeah. device. It's not there at all. Right. In fact, it's the, gone. Yeah, the entire base in there. It's mm -hmm. so. Um, well, if, if you can, if you can get a, uh, get a uh, turn the Eye of Sauron uh, onto the device directly, Josh. That is an entire. I mean, like a, like if you are washing dishes at home, it's like a rubberized mm -hmm. tray that rests in the bottom and catches mm -hmm. all that stuff. And there's a single outflow. Uh, you uh, you can actually see it inside the the drain tray down at the bottom. Yeah. There's a single outflow mm -hmm. that all that stuff gets sent out to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Very so, different. Oh, and, and so something that you should know. Well, you know what? We'll we'll save that as a as a delightful oh, reveal. Yeah. But, but but yeah. also about the machine too, which is really amazing. Is it just it comes in two pieces, and the bottom oh. is just your literally. If you wanted to put four of these uh, of the trays on. You're literally just putting another one right on top of the other yeah. as a system rack. It's yeah. utterly amazing. Yeah, it's like a server, but for yeah. alcohol. Right. Yeah. Essentially. Right? <laughs> exactly. So it's an alcohol server. So we have we have this. So let's let's just do like a real quick test um, of the process. Yeah, and you'll see here yeah. that there's a you know a a, a, a bevel a grip a grip that fits where the old. Bypass used to be, so that's eliminated. Yeah, yeah, the bypass was yeah. was novel, and then of course there's that post on the back that required like a, a particular right. interaction. Yeah, this is the place you'll see when you put the lid on for the snorkel. Yeah, indeed. Here, so 
Let's, oh, delicious. Let me get some. Oh, here, let me, let me turn it around. Yeah, yeah. Can... Let me get some grins. Beautiful. We have a husk. Oh, we're definitely putting it to the test. Oh, yeah, I was just going <laughs> to say, I mean, let's, we're going to see the whole thing live here uh, in a moment. Uh, so it has a grippy, grippy, mm -hmm. a grippy grip or something. That's the technical term yeah. for a grippy If you grippy. will. Yeah. Do you, and do you feel the weight? Well, no, no, it's, it's, it's it, it has the, the rubber screen. and it's puffy, but look, look around the edge. Uh, I didn't actually notice this yeah, before the, the, the I put it on. Here, yeah. No, these notches around the edge actually fit into notches in the step filter. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do anyway. I actually took it off and put it back on because I assumed I'd done it wrong. <laughs> no, I, 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 I did it correct. Everything's it's actually fitting. fine. Um, here and so here is the new here is the new roof, right here. <laughs> so instead of that instead of that piece in the bottom that sort of inflow valve, the rest of it now is sort of like drawn up like a pump almost. Yeah, we call it a, a snorkel. <laughs> But um, I could. And the circle goes inside. Yes. Oh my goodness gracious! Uh, yeah. Economics. Yeah, Brett. <laughs> look, how like it. look how smooth. I know. I know. Look how smooth. It's a beauty. It is. It is. Now uh, we used to have a different. Uh, there was. It used to be a different configuration mm. for the holes on top, Greg. Yes. So what has changed inside the device so that we used to our lid is. Kind of hooked up a different way. We used to have a rotary arm in there mm -hmm. uh, on a stepper motor and it that kind of ring <laughs> around. Um, I mean, it was the first automated brewing machine, yeah. so we were just kind of doing our thing. Yeah, <laughs> but we replaced it with a squid arm now, so it's actually a squid a valve. Squid? So I, I don't see. So no, I understand non non <laughs> it, Greg people. Or it sounds like any nice too. Well, we took the, the when we developed a smaller machine, the Pico. Oh, the C. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And inside, because it uses steam, and then we had we had no room for a swing arm, and yeah. it was not that oh. efficient. So it's a tentacle pump, and it's developed from a place out in Corvallis, Oregon. Mm -hmm. And it has yeah. tubes that come out, and it, it, it just moves. And the wort is directed now to every place through well, each individual tube. I looked inside and I did not see any squid arms. It's hiding yeah, on the top. In, uh, it's very the light. Down and just... Yeah. I'm sorry. No, I have to go look at this. <laughs> That's one of the, the things about the new machine is by changing the innards, yeah. we've, yeah. we've uh, eliminated a lot of the weight. Right. And you can see the the size and the and you know the aesthetic is pleasing. It, yeah. it, oh, the it weight. definitely, it's definitely. Just, yeah. it's so, so there is something that projects down. It's, a squid arm yes. projects down from that valve in the back. Yep. It's coming. It's through, sh directed right through. Yeah, through whatever port it's supposed to be at. Mm -hmm. And you kind of dictate that through the crafter. It just tells it. What? You know, it, you you have a recipe that gets converted to its machine language, which is. Put fluid here at this yeah. time, yeah. this temperature, this temperature. and yeah. it takes care of the rest. Well, here, I mean, now that I'm out here, I'm sure you want to you want to <laughs> attempt this. Well, I was just gonna say, I mean, yeah. I mean with the new setup before, you were running a hundred percent. Yeah. Just, spoiler warning: uh, the yeah, new well, Pico. Mm, mm, oh, mm, is that not it? No, no you'll no, you'll you'll see the little rails. Yeah, yeah. And it just sits. It wants to be there. Um. So it, Whoa. so it does not it does not actually have the post. <laughs> it doesn't have the, the post that so bedeviled me yeah. in the past. <laughs> it just goes in. I feel I feel like a, the, a this hero. machine is catering to you. I feel like a champion. Um, Jordan so, was our worst case scenario when we were designing <laughs> the step filter. Oh yeah, I can't even imagine what it'd be like to see me we're like, fruitlessly. Nobody else in the world is really messing this up as much as Jerry. So how do we fix it? <laughs> no, exactly. exactly. And I appreciate it. But this is the wild thing, right? Because it's it's the Z. All of our recipes, like, they're still in there. And yeah. so the button is much nicer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The the UI experience in general more wholesome. Mm hmm. More friendly. More family all, friendly. All of the instructions and things that you need to get started flash for you. Oh. In case, so it's a reminder. Yeah. Nice. That's yeah. Nice. So uh, which which one of these recipes should I run just for, for a, a rain sepulcher. test? Sepulcher? 
because like I said, so we had had to we had set all this stuff up uh, ahead of time, including the uh, sound baffling stuff uh, uh, for the old version because of its pump. Wow, that is yeah, amazing. And yeah. you also now have the ability to change the temperature on the fly. So if you want to oh, get in really? there, that's awesome. And oh, you I, thought, oh darn, yeah. I, I, you know, because you can pause it and and pull it out and redo things, but you can change it on the fly on the screen. Oh, if you wow. forgot to put in a step in in oh. Greg's new recipe crafter, Greg's our lead oh. software, or he's our development manager, I guess. Oh, manager. Yeah. <laughs> But you, yeah, you have that ability to, to change fantastic. the temperature right there. Oh, during the process, because before it's during like it starts running its program. It's like we're done. I'm not. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like just, you yeah, you come back time. in six hours. Much more capability of. Yeah. Of, um, so it's of actually asking me to insert the step filter uh, plug at bottom wall between mash and adjunct compartments. That's the little f uh, flow valve. So the old one had the duct valve. Mm -hmm. yeah. This one is just a small rubber plug. Okay. And then the wort flows freely underneath it. Oh, so I see. if you don't have that in there, you'll notice that the, the grain isn't getting completely covered with with uh, well, we put with it in liquid. There for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, I just oh, leave mine so in. It's, yeah. it's, 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 just, it's just being nice to me. Yeah, These it's are like, warnings. Yeah. It's just saying, hey, yes. it's a level. shit yeah. in. And I have, listen, <laughs> Greg, look, I appreciate it. Load <laughs> grain. I know about the grains. Well, you know, it comes from. Uh, our customer service yeah. team, yeah. Kevin, who's so awesome, yeah. and and collecting data, yeah, definitely. And then these little things, because they're for for every ten that remember, one oh. does. Yep. It's a, oh, it's just the steps of the recipe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it, you can be doing that, and I can have it. everything out on the counter, and I'm, I can just follow it from here. Absolutely. Start now or start later. That's nice. Yeah. Yep. Fully cloud control too, so if you had multiple Z's, we'd actually be starting the brew on multiple Z's. You'd have a whole swarm of them going and make enough for a party. Or look at that like fan. That. Yeah, look at that. Listen to that fantastic sound. That is wonderful. Yeah, and it's an estimate of your time. Yeah. Flashes on the screen depending on your recipe. Oh, okay. So you know that it's going to be, you know, if you've shortened it, maybe it's just three hours. So it yeah. tells you exactly. But the new recipe crafter is. Uh, something that that users really wanted yeah. well here here can you can you show us the we have the hdmi here set up can you oh, show God. us the new recipe stuff and absolutely why don't we go through make just make a recipe dork out with us for a second yeah. sure let me close my email before i pull it up <laughs> <laughs> oh, that just got you in no. <laughs> yeah you're gonna get in huge trouble there we go all right, uh, how do we export this to the screen? Oh, it's don't worry, don't worry. We have, uh, <laughs> we have, we have the technology, yeah. absolutely. All right, so Redesign Brew House actually just went live, so we should see our brew happening. We're actually logged in as you right now. Indeed. Um, oh. Pico Chan is your new Z. And Aww. it is currently brewing. Nice. And your little, your other one that's sitting there is idle. You exactly. saw that? Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. So basically, oh, and so God. if we were operating these in a swarmed configuration, you, we'd be able to pull up yeah, all of tab, our data and machine through all your data. And each, each machine is reporting all its temperatures. You actually you know, watch the brew curves evolve as you go. It's not very interesting right now because we just started, but mm -hmm. over time we'll see the whole mash curve and all the adjuncts added. It'll tell you what step you're on. Before, and, when you had the ketchup and the mustard, as they called yeah, it, yeah, now yeah. you have a few more. Things. We added exactly. colors. A few more yeah. condiments. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And Some with sriracha. the Z, we actually have a new recipe crafter. Yeah, take a look at this. Um, we actually have uh, one for beer, one for sous uh, one for coffee. Here, here, can you show me the coffee one? I mean, how would, sure. I even, how would I even do that with this device? I mean, I, when I put my grounds into the step filter in the, in the front? Yep. Or, uh, wow. So it, it'll okay. give you instructions for it, but we do. you choose a brew type batch size, how many ounces of coffee per gallon of water you're shooting for, add some ingredients. Right now I think we have breakfast blend, a uh, yeah. couple pounds, goes in the mash compartment, right. um, spread out evenly, and it'll do a couple steps and show you uh, you know, recommended coffee amount and the estimated brew curve. But you, you set it up so that I could actually just put that in my step filter too, if I wanted to. Oh, yeah, you put so the no, coffee no, in there. In the, um, in the hop adjunct. 
Yeah, te technically, yes. Yeah, it'll, it'll allow it's you to put it in any, any location. So as you create a recipe, it's translating it to the machine language. The machine steps down here, and we have fine control about where we want yeah. that squid arm to put the water. Especially I, I put my coffee in the, we put it in the mat, in the step right right in the mash. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we can make um, just almost five gallons. Wow. Jeez. And yeah, a couple of hours, great, and it's fantastic. Brew. So if you ever get a nitro, Tap. Oh, oh no 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 no, no. that's yep. that, that's <laughs> okay, a thing that's happening. It's it's it really is fantastic. Oh I can't even coffee's imagine. good and the nitro because it yeah. it doesn't impart a flavor no, like no, it's CO2. Just texture. Just, it's texture. just texture. Yeah. So if I want to show you the new recipe crafter. Yeah, please do. And I'll let Annie dictate what ingredients I put in it, but the Recipe Crafter had a redesign just like the brew house where we were watching our brew happen, and we can go back to that because it'll have more interesting data. Frosty, this doesn't integrate with D&D Beyond yet. No. But, you know, <laughs> soon. Soon. But um, provide any recipe name you're interested in. Sure. Well, I hope my recipes are like test two well, Why don't we just go through three. the normal uh, run of the, you know? Just do the process? Yeah. You guys oh. mind making a nerd beer with us? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, listen, if you want to hang out and you would like to avoid uh, returning to work proper... <laughs> His words, not mine. We can <laughs> make... <laughs> whatever um, whatever uh, style you'd like to do... Well, here, here, here. So now now you're in trouble. <laughs> because now, now, much like the squid arm, Yeah. Uh, now we are going to enfold you uh, into the acquisitions intoxicated process. So you will, you will be startled to hear uh, that uh, we have been at this for a year and a half or so making beers of different kinds directly with the channel. So for Ace. them, for them, it's like a bruise your own adventure. Yeah. Uh, where we basically go in... Brew venture. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but we basically go in and we give them choices. Yeah. And then we sort of talk about, like, what each like what each of the different choices would mean. Mm -hmm. And then they actually vote on the ingredients, and then we brew those oh, yeah. and try them on the show. That's uh, awesome. So we have something new. We have, we have something new and cool that we're going to be tapping uh, next week. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, we, we should just go through the process. If you would like to... Uh, extend us some of your expertise. Sure. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just try to create a delicious uh, story for them, essentially. So you can throw out a couple of grains. Now, you might have a favorite grain, uh, like Eric, and it might come up, and that's fine. It comes so, up like once every seven beers. This is a place where we support uh, our friends here in making the beers that listen, they want. Listen, just because Special B has my last name in it, you know. Ah. It comes up a lot. That's all I'm saying. Um, it does not. You know here. what? But, so, uh, we can go through and use this tool uh, and do this stuff end to end. Uh, do you want to give me uh, two or three styles that the channel can choose from? And then give us, give us some ideas about the different styles, uh, like, Protoform, we don't need a special B intervention. God damn it. But, like, what's cruel people, uh, about well, a couple styles? Uh, people love IPAs they now, do. specifically the Northeastern yeah. style. Oh, that's that right. hazy, fruity type stuff? Well, yeah, the tropical. Yeah. Um, those are great. Uh, it's going into warmer months for me, so I like Pilsners and Kolsch yeah. and, and, you know, uh, refreshing wit beers, wheat beers. Yeah. Um, so I would probably something like that, mm -hmm. and then a, a you know a good old fashioned pale ale, yeah, um, yeah, or a porter or a stout. It, I I'm a seasonal drinker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Actually, I drink it all. But, <laughs> but, it's, but it's true, and we've, we've sort of we've talked about that on the show before too. I'll throw these uh, I'll throw these up in here. If you have any notes about like a Kolsch, like if they aren't familiar with that style, yeah, how would you how would you sell them on a Kolsch? Well, uh, it's funny, and uh, well, it's interesting. Germany is, yeah. drinks very regionally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and seasonally. Yes. So in Cologne, um, uh, where Kolsch is a style originated, that is the only place pretty much that it's made. Well, that is the only place it's made. Does Kolsch mean from Cologne? So it's an ale. Yeah. So, so Cologne, Germany. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that style, Kolsch, so it was a German ale that was 
there to compete with other loggers. You just didn't have the technology, mm-hmm. right? You know, the ability because we're talking hundreds uh, of years. So it's a light, refreshing ale. There's a few breweries around the Seattle area that make it really well. Yeah. Bainbridge Island does mm-hmm. a good one. Stoop does another. They do. Stoop, oh, yeah. Stoop is. Stoop's fantastic. Marvelous. No, I, I haven't had something I did not like from Stoop. No. They have got one of the best IPA flights in town. Yeah. Like, I agree. Lay that paddle in front of you. It's, yeah. it's just you start wringing your hands. It's crazy. That, remember, they, have, they have they have a lot of finesse. Yeah. Yes, they yeah. did that uh, rye showcase one month where it was just t- tons and tons of rye ales yeah. and beers. That was just, it was one great rye component after another. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love it. It was good. So we'll see. I think I think that looking at these votes. I think you may have sold them on the refreshing coal. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, but yes. <laughs> So uh, norm- if I was making a recipe and I didn't know how to make a yeah. beer, I use a particular site. Um, oh, really? The, yeah, it's called bjcp.org. Mm-hmm. And that gives us all the styles of beer uh, as determined by this organization that people oh, accept all official, over the world. The standardized yeah. styles. So it tells you about flavor, aroma, the mouthfeel, a little bit Ooh. of history. And then over on the right nav, yeah. you'll see the style guidelines. Mm-hmm. And there you can go and then you can click the style guidelines. What a treat. Yeah. And they will tell people if they want to go. And this is also how, where judges get certified. Yeah. I was just going to say. Yeah. This is where I got certified. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it can be intense. But they'll give you the clues to make any yeah. kind of beer. Well, yeah. Or to research yeah. something that you might right. want to try. So, uh, Kolsch is uh, a lot of Pilsner malt. Yeah. Mostly Pilsner malt and some a uh, little bit of wheat. Gotcha. Yeah. So, you can... I do beers where I do, like, 90% of one yeah. grain and 10 of a specialty. Or 80 and 20. Yeah. Because specialty malts can really... Um, in some cases, overpower. overpower. Overpower, yeah. 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 Well, listen, they want to talk to you about Kolsch. Yeah, and then an, an ale yeast. It needs a German ale yeast. Uh, I recommend, um, I'm big on White Labs. Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure. White Labs is, an, is was actually Peter Brew's very first customer. Really? Oh, really? For the Zymatic back in uh, 2013. Oh, the test there. Yes. Well, it, it, it's amazing. Like, it's it's great for home brewers, yeah. but it's actually, it's really, really good as a sketch pad for industrial brewing. Right. Yeah. Right? So it's a, it's, a, it's a real testament to the how people think and they use something that's new and yeah. they're not afraid of it. These companies that innovate... Um, can be afraid of something. Yeah. And then with Pico Brew, don't you think that be coming from the software background and not a brewing background, they didn't have that burden yeah. of things can only be one way. Yeah. That's yeah, a yeah. really neat way to look at it, too. Yeah. yeah. So you're able to develop, you know, there's no one telling you, you know, you can't. Right. You can only do it this way. <laughs> yeah. I was like, well... Well, I can do it any way I want. Yeah. Definitely. You know, yeah. so. It's like we can, we can respect the tradition, but we can make right. new traditions, yeah. right? right? Um, and, so and, yeah, yeah, go ahead. And then other, and, well, you know, in our community that we have, Gray, will you pull it up? The, sure. We have all the recipes. So have you ever, do you put your recipes in our public? Uh, we don't put them on the public forum yet. We, no. we could. Okay, well, I, I have all the ones that say Pico Brew or Annie. Yeah. Oh, they're, oh, they're, they're, they're actually, well, I think I've seen your name in there somewhere. Yeah, so I can pull up, um, <coughs> I can pull up, uh, if I don't know how to make something, yes, which is usually Yes, Bauer, it is a mini I, I can yeah. I can pick it by the style. So I have Kolsch oh. here. Oh, so, oh, so you, you have a, a solid Kolsch Yes, here. and then I have uh, uh, user ratings, too. Oh. So I can just look. I can just click that. Um, this is is this your Greg's Beauty. You can see all the different huh. ones that are there. That's fantastic. Oh, and look. you can see yes. uh, that's me. I did both of these. Very cool. Yeah. yeah so when you, you And then up. people tell me if they really like yeah. it or they, well, nobody <laughs> liked that one. <laughs> so nobody even. Yeah. yeah. You, you brewed it. Right. And then I can take this as a base if I want, and then you can see. I'm just doing this so people can see. Oh, they should. No, no. What's, Show them what we got. What's in a um, What's in a, a particular coalition? Yeast that they can use, and so, so any notes that they need, and I can. You don't have to start off with a new recipe every time. Yeah. We actually have a whole ecosystem 
mm -hmm. using the word ecosystem again. Um, a whole Bruniverse. There you go. Of, Boom. Of recipe, uh, recipes created by the community and yeah. by professional brewers and home brewers that are all compatible with the Z right out the box. Yeah. And then the Z is also compatible with Pico Packs mm -hmm. and upcoming Well, yeah, oh, packs. it's fantastic. Just, no, because Pico Pack is one of the brew options that's in there. So if you were yes. to get a Pico Pack, would you get that and then basically just place that inside, yeah. inside the step filter? There's an adapter, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so it, it's, we, we kept it all compatible on this. And the uh, brew marketplace is where you look at all the Pico Packs available. And it's for our more, uh, you know, consumer grade product. Um, it's yeah. just a preloaded package that goes in the machine, well, the small like machine a and brew. Sort of yeah, a cartridge. Almost. Like, I, a, like um, an inkjet cartridge. Yes. yes. And today we actually introduced the Pico that people can brew with, with their own ingredients. Mm. Oh, that's right. There's, there's a freestyle. Freestyle. Pack, right? Well, not freestyle, but actually with a bag. Oh. Of using their own grains and their own hops. Yeah, we went, we went all grain today. Very so you can cool. actually yeah. put your own ingredients in the Pico starting today. Awesome. But, I mean, we have a, hun a, a ton of brewing partners yeah. um, that mm -hmm. make their recipes available, and you can actually just load up recipes. Like, my parents are users, and I don't. I mean, they're very smart people. <laughs> my they have parents doctorates. Are users. That's, that's, that's <laughs> yeah, how exactly. I always wanted exactly. to say, right? You could start yeah. two very different conversations. Yeah. Like right from there, it could fork away. This is an intervention. Yeah. Um, yeah. So no, they, they have doctors, and I mean, they use recipe. these machines, but they use the, the pod system. I mean, mm, it just yeah. makes sense to them. They want to try all the beers. Yeah. Hey, Annie. Um, the chat wants to see your lambic, and um, wants to know how well fruits do inside the pico. Oh, a lambic yeah. recipe. I don't have one here. Um, because it, that's something that takes a really, really long time. Yeah. You know, it, it's more, lambic is more about using the proper mixed cultures yeast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and then getting it to where you like the right amount of horse blanket. Yeah. And <laughs> then the correct and, yeah. amount of horse blanket. Yeah. yeah, and then picking your fruit. I mean, <laughs> I guess it would be it, it, true lambics are nothing like Lindemans. Yeah. Yeah. Those are like sweet tarts. No, no, that's, yeah, that's, that is a juice. Yeah, that yeah. is a juice for grown-ups. Yeah, yeah. Cantillon. Yeah. yeah. I'm, a, I'm not sure I've one. ever had Russian it. River makes fantastic. Yeah, yeah. They're they got sours. Some, they have, they have, some, they have yeah. some sours that I had when I was down there that but that's I liked a, more than a regular sour. There's a lot of, it's, a bit, the IBU the, for, for, is very low, mm -hmm. maybe seven. Um, and you're using some aged hops. Probably the whole cone that you've let. Yeah. So you want a lot of the oxygen out, but they need to be old, like two, four, six. You can buy them. A lot of, of, of uh, hop supplies, homebrew shops sell the aged hops. And then it's patience with making a lamb. Yeah. So once you and make the base watching beer, it. a lot of Pilsner malt and, it's just, and wheat, and then it's just sitting. And old things. My favorite part about it is just like as you're describing the ingredients and the process of making it, yeah. like your face is like scrunching. Mm. It's just like because yeah. I'm tasting it. Yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. It's in yeah. there, and you're like, it's too much. This has yeah. a, a hoof sort of flavor, hoof. like a Very monkey hoof, horse blanket, sweaty. I, I like them. They're actually a very refreshing beer, and they, the alcohol yeah. isn't high at no. all. Um, uh, you can get a few at some of the bottle shops around. There are kettle sours. Mm. Uh, I'm not a huge fan because they're a little more of a one note. And they, they have a yogurt yes. flavor for the me. Cultured, so it's like I'm drinking really uh, thin food. raspberry yogurt or cherry and yeah. some. I know some people love them, but, and they're good for breweries to have as a variety, right. yeah, yeah. but they're not my deal. It's like a kefir thing at a certain level. Can it's be. Got the tangy liquid. Tan, they use yeah. a lot of the uh, the good belly. Yeah. To, to oh. make them, yeah. Oh, really? But I, in, um, I have uh, figured out a way to make some really nice Gozes on the thing. really yeah tell us more so I use double mash so mm -hmm. I do my base malt and then I'll layer in acidulated malt yep oh definitely and then rerun it and then add my um, my salt my coriander yeah, kind of, we should we should yeah. actually I care. Use, I actually use um, I go North Sound and use Sound Water oh no kidding oh, yeah interesting. I'm trying to get like really yeah absolutely the yeah forage beers the water aspect yeah um, so I um, oh that's interesting I'm trying to work on this one now yeah with yeah. Pacific Ocean water oh gosh for was a it, larger batch was it unwarranted advantage uh, I think that was one of the goes here mm -hmm. 
so here, let's, let's try this. Let's try something that is scary for me. For you? Uh, yeah. We're gonna show, uh... I like the names. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they're all picked you, by the chat. This is great. You would be... Uh, That's I use that phrase a lot at work. <laughs> yeah. When I'm complaining. <laughs> you can open it up in either the crafters. Oh, the crafter? You can open it up either in the Zomatic crafter oh, or the oh. new beta crafter. The new, you want to use that. Yeah, yeah, the beta this crafter. is a new one. So... Beta and then you want it okay because it's going to yeah, recalc. Yeah. So this... This is it. This is our... Yeah. And you can edit. You see on the right the yeah. little pen. So you can edit any of the steps. The uh, dough in. If you don't like that dough in temp... Um, I use a fix, George fix smash schedule, so I go 102, yep. and then I go to about uh, 135, oh, you, you grow 148, up. 168, yep. yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody has their own, but th that's yeah. what I like. Their secret sauce, but here, take, a look, sauce. At, take a look at our unwarranted advantage uh, Goza recipe, yeah, and like and tell, us, tell us what you think. What was the... It's good. Uh, I was just going to look at your... What I would do... Yeah. Um, how'd you like it, though? Oh, it was really, really good. Well, um, I want to say we also put in coriander and it, fresh it rind. It has coriander and fresh orange rind. Uh, that would be... Uh, not oh, well, to, to give it, like, the rest of that sort of, like, take the tangy aspect of it. Yeah. But then, like, try to sell it with... It's nice. It's fruity tastes. It's your own... Uh, it's your own creation. It's nice. Yeah. I, um... The only thing oh, I... And some salt. And salt, the only thing I do differently is I run my first smash for about 45 minutes with just the base grain, so just your oh. Pilsner malt and your okay. wheat. And then I pause it, which you can do. Pause right on the front screen. Yeah. Oh. And pull out the step filter. Remember, this is different now, so it's not going to leak. Uh, it's it's panic. panic. It can't. No. Oh, okay. So here, here, let me see if I understand what and you mean. And then I layer in the acidulated malt right on top, undisturbed the, the grain bed, put it back that's in. Fantastic. And go another 45 minutes. Yeah, because this, this. You pause, so you're going to pause, and that's yeah. going to activate the pump. That's right. right. It's going to withdraw yeah. everything. Right. And then we come in. Oh, so, you, so you're not right. you're not running the whole batch on the same grain bed the whole time. No, no because this, the same this, amount this, of time. Uh, you can check my um, like recipe the, in there. It's what goes uh, yeah. around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst <laughs> you, you can see some of them in there are horrible um, and you can see what I do and I put it in the notes exactly so you, if you need a, uh, oh, ever yeah. want to try that and the extra yeah and then I sometimes I float my coriander I just pan toast it a oh, little bit definitely. to pull out some yeah. of those yeah, oils yeah 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 for sure yeah and then I just dump the salt right into the keg That's yeah for sure for yeah. sure or you could put it in the adjunct yeah, if you want it to. Yeah. If you yeah. want it to. Because it doesn't get uh, saturated at all. Dude, that might be a really interesting thing. And so tell me... Like, it's refreshing. Oh, for sure. It's, it's it, honestly, like, I've had gozas that, for me, were too much into that yogurt thing. Or too salty. Yeah, yeah. Too, too much yogurt, too salty. Yeah. Whereas this was mostly about yeah. the crisp... Um, slightly tart. Slightly, slightly salty. Slightly tart, slightly salty. But yeah. the main thing is the coriander and the peel. Yeah. So it had, it had a good juicy yeah. uh, and then the sharpness of the acid just made it taste fresh there's some good salish salt mm. that you can get that's local oh, so if you have sure. local salt so you just want to use anything but iodized yeah. oh no no that's no. no pink Him Himalayan also salt good. works great Hawaiian mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, salt yeah. there's even a, um, a company here that does Alderwood smoked huh. salt Oh, Which is kind of interesting. That's really neat. Yeah. That might yeah. be an interesting way to get. You just start to think the, about it. Yeah. Just get some of the like the Rauschmeer mm -hmm. type vibes. Yeah, but just a hint. In the in the at, at its level, you can control. Right. In yeah. there. Yeah. Man. So tell me. So uh, tell me about uh, if we were to add the grains in that second layer. Yeah. Tell me about like like the strategy behind that. Is it basically to it's is because it to I'm, not, I'm not doing a traditional goza the yeah. way that the that was happening. I mean, I can't, some things you just can't recreate from ten thousand yeah. you know yeah. many thousand years ago was goza. Yeah. It's an old dramatic. Yeah. Why am I asking him? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to nod. It's like if you want to know about like you know C plus. 
Yeah. You know, doing yeah. Fucking I have any questions about C++ basic. C++ <laughs> plus plus. <laughs> Some visual studio. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, but, but what, what does it change? Like if we're adding that second grain at we, a later time and boiling it for a lesser amount of time. Yeah. So you're pulling off that that lactic. Oh. Yes. Less, and, I and the see. pH is changing. Some oh. people use lactic or uh, acidulated malt Definitely. to adjust pH. So when I make a pilsner, I always use that. Yep. Some people oh. use, you yep. know, some people use liquid. That's what we did uh, um, at two years acid. when we were doing the uh, smash. We actually put a little bit of acidulated malt in to yeah. change the pH of their water. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because th that's sort of where they were at. Like, they were getting really into um, mineral. When we were down there at two beers, the they were getting into mineral additions and, like, really trying to adjust that thing. Yeah, and so you're that's like, a brewery that cares. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you're going to different places and just try using their water yeah. Uh, as a, you know, as a ingredient, essentially. Well, yeah. I mean, you think about it like a Cezanne, right? That was going to, throughout the manufacture of Cezannes, it's not just the grains that would be at a particular farm. It's the water. It's the right. water, too. The whole water uh, minerals changed yeah. from place to place as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's water is amazing. Yeah. And we're lucky here in, in Seattle that it's probably the closest to Pilsen. Mm. And Chechia. It's oh, oh in, in terms of like the our water, the rating. Mineral, yeah, yeah, the content. It's it's almost pure, um, but it's it's good water here. But a lot of places they have to change the water. Mm -hmm. No, you can get you can get lucky. You can you yeah. know pour. You can fill your um, you can fill your keg out of a bathtub. <laughs> yeah. And then make and then make great beer in your garage. Yeah. Uh, with without an extra step. Yeah. Yeah, Seattle. We're lucky. We're really really lucky here. No, it's true. So. Uh, Pico Brew friends, uh, Annie and Greg, thank you so much uh, for coming in and letting us borrow uh, this device. I really, really appreciate it. Would it be possible, could we prevail upon you um, uh, to have you come back in sometime and we can do the full brew end to end uh, and we can have you taste some of the stuff that we've oh, made love it. and give us real reviews. Um, uh, and help them, uh, help the channel sort of know uh, sure. what we're getting That'd at That'd be here. great. Absolutely. Right. I'd love it. Well, listen, then let's, uh, let's say that it's a date. Uh, next, time, next time we put something together that we think uh, you guys would really like to tap into, mm -hmm. uh, I would love to uh, uh, take advantage of your, your skills and your experience uh, here on the show. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Thank you. Everybody, good friends. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I can't wait. Listen, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll figure out the rest of this recipe. Uh, I'll put out a date for you guys to come in and check out something new. Cool. Uh, but until next time, thanks to our guests. Um, and uh, we can keep all of these devices, I guess. They're Minus different. my laptop. All right, cool. <laughs> Damn, I thought we were getting that's that close. too. No. Oh, yeah. You actually legitimately need, you need the laptop. Yeah. Um, here, so you should, uh, Ghostly, can you hand us the laptop over there? All right, awesome. Well, here, Josh, can you go ahead and pause the stream real quick and we'll clean up? All right.
Turn those old Dungeons and Dragons into dollars and dividends by owning your own adventuring franchise. From its humble beginnings as D&D Live Play, expanding to stage, podcast, and stream, with Acquisitions Incorporated, there's never been a better time to get the money. Hey, it's Owen Braun, CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. Imagine digging a hole, but instead of finding a body, you find real wealth and a body, one you put there. Buy my buck. We partnered with Wizards of the Coast to bring the official Acquisitions Incorporated experience to your home campaign. Learn how to run your own franchise, how to staff it with new player options for specializations, spells and equipment, stats for iconic characters and monsters, and put your franchisees to the test with an included campaign for levels one to six. Pre-order now from store.acinc.com and receive a free green flame pin gift as a special thanks for becoming a cog in our machine. Opiators are standing by with the official D&D Acquisitions Incorporated book. You can do what you wanna do. Ow!
All right, hello, uh, Jeffrey K. Horcrims, uh, Azerbaijan. So, uh, I really appreciate uh, that they came over and let us use that device and also broke it down, but I also appreciate that uh, it works much better uh, than the old one. Uh, I wish that I wish that you could smell what we smell in here. Mm -hmm. It smells um, good. Uh, Real yeah, good. Yeah, it's the there is some chocolate malt in there. And it is providing me nourishment through the air. I'm inhaling it. Um, and I'm gonna get now. So Josh, I'm so happy with this machine. Oh, for sure. I'm so happy with this machine right now. So from your perspective over there, Josh, yeah. uh, uh, from out here, the audio change is pretty substantial. Uh, how is it, is it coming through in the mix? Is it okay? It's still noisy, but. You know, I mean, the other one, the other one was ba basically well. uh, like it has to sit inside of a hermetic chamber in order to do the show. It will be inaudible once it's in that chamber. Yeah, mm. once once it gets slotted in there. And also, what's funny is that with this pump, um, it is actually it is much quieter, but it is also faster and better in every other way. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really nice. And we get to maintain it. We get to maintain it. But now. Uh, so under uh, under Dogag, uh, yes, this new Pico will easily fit uh, in there, and because, because it, it may be hard to tell, it may be hard to tell. Did uh, you say under Dogag? Yeah. Isn't it underdog? I'm sure it is. Um, but well, you listen, you get to bust my when I make a fuck up. I'm, I'm oh, coming no, straight for the jugular. No, I I'm love it. punching the fuck out of I'm you. Straight for the dog yeah. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm I'm into it. I just love it. That photo in word jail. What? So. Um, this is actually smaller. Yeah, it is. It's smaller and it's half the weight. So here, here's, a, here's, so, a, here's a good way to judge the weight. Before, when this got shipped to you, you had to pay, it was $150 worth of shipping. Yeah. It's 50 bucks now. Yeah. It's just that much of a weight difference. No, it really is. And so it makes it easier to manipulate. But in general, uh, virtually everything about the, virtually everything about the uh, experience in terms of the UI, in terms of the back end, like, it's it's just better that post that made it difficult to put the thing mm -hmm. in as much as I enjoyed doing that on the stream um, as much as I enjoyed the challenge you, th you really think you're not gonna it's not gonna happen again some way I can't I mean, I'm sure I can I'm not saying I'm not saying mechanical error I'm saying is there a user uh, error oh, oh, function oh, I guarantee coming over from I, this side I, of the room. I guarantee that I can <laughs> find another way to fuck this up absolutely um, uh, but uh, gathered friends, you may recall last week. Wait, wait, before we get into that, uh, yeah. one more thing we should be appreciative of. Yes. Someone in the chat asked how much a Pico uh, Z is. Yeah. So two things. One, they're originally $2,100. But next week, Annie's going to have a code for us. Yes. So you can purchase it, and it's going to give you like two to 300 bucks off, yep. something like that. With uh, some extra peripherals or something like yep. that. Uh, that's what we were discussing during our brief... Uh, uh, descent there, um, but that's that is an interesting device, and I'm excited about it. The second thing is that we have a grain bill all set up mm -hmm. for a uh, a deep crow themed yes. beverage, uh, and so obviously there's a lot of excitement associated with that, and uh, I think that what we should do in the time that remains to us. Um, uh, Hashtag Gandalf uh, is to uh, is to go in and figure out the rest of that deep crow beverage so that we can uh, get that cooking uh, on the back. Sauce fire, or as Jerry would say, sauce fire. Yeah, um, sauce, sauce <laughs> fiere. <laughs> um, um, there is no such thing as a grain of fissure, so I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's not even a term. That's not even a real thing. So, so you know, uh, but. Uh, the main thing is that because uh, the water is added in a different way, mm -hmm. the granal fissure scenario as one a that's vortex in, a vortex for those who so are in the know. They fuck me up. God, they fuck me up. Uh, no, the the vortex, as they say, um, it 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 may be a more rare occurrence, or it may occur under under different circumstances. Mm. We'll have to figure it out. Uh, essay, it's not time to collect names just yet because we are actually going to first, here, let me, let me give you your uh, uh, issue line. Oh, yeah. Um, no. First, we actually need to figure out our hop 
yeah. uh, and yeast scenario. Yeah, because remember, this was um, a beer that was designed to kind of uh, mimic along with that. Uh, what was the name of the? Well, I was enjoying Dormancy. That was it, Dormancy. So yeah. if you take a look at this, this is one of our most, I mean, easily one of our most uh, elaborate Yeah, we've never used grain this, bills. Yeah, this amount um, of grain. So here. this this monster is designed uh, this this monster is designed to put grown men to sleep with its fists of stone. Um, <laughs> that is that is the uh, aim, that is its goal. Here, so Fodwin is trying to Fodwin is trying to get me some Oh yeah, you're you're trying to get some product. Okay. All right. Um, I mean, so it's a test run, so what, what, it's, it's a crash, test, it, crash it, test dummies. Well, I no, think. I mean, it's a mm -hmm. test run, but it's sort of like, yeah. it's sort of like, um... Once there was <coughs> a kid who... Want, what? Come uh, on, bring dude, back. No, no, I'm saying like that... You need, you need, you need, that's what I'm like, like, this song is on Mike's playlist, like, I hear this song every day. Oh, <laughs> really? It never went away for us. Um, but no, this part, it isn't so much about uh, the grain bed, or um, about like the adjunct chambers or like yeah. the hopping or the mouthfeel. I think this is more about uh, inviting this device, this you know beer anvil. Uh, I think it's more about honoring it and mm -hmm. making sure that it feels welcome here yeah. in the new studio. I, I think that's a really and good so, way. Like and so, Fode, fear not. Uh, this device will be integrated spiritually. Uh, during this very program, um, but for now, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and crack our recipe yeah. the rest of the way, and then let's get it. So, with this savage bill, this I is mean, this carafa, this black, black malt, malt the on top malt. of oh man, and then obviously we have our uh, the big bed mm -hmm. is really down here at the pale malt, and it's just it's just like it's just like Annie said. I mean, you've told me this exactly the same thing. It's like once you start getting into this specialty malt, it's like. You have to be careful. But look at this incredible phalanx right? of flavors That's here. A, you know, and it's not small. Like, this is the thing. It's like, we're swinging for the fences on this. Right, like, but, but what's, what's great is, you know, we're still only, 80% of our build is still pale malt. Yeah. Two row. Still solid. Still the basic um, ingredients for most beers. Yeah. And we're just really adding a pinch. I've got um, a, I have got a good good feeling um, about this. And so what are we going to layer on top of this? That's a really cool... Uh, so with the deep curl, what do, what does a hop flavor... Like, how does that how does that come about from a yeah, deep curl? Like, exactly. what, what kind of flavors would... Uh, just uh, just so we note from this. Just so we know, gathered friends, uh, the IBU... And this is, this is pretty serious business, actually. Yeah. So the IBUs that we came up with mm -hmm. with the channel... Oh, right. Like 66 which for which I think for a uh, for something in that stout vein mm -hmm. that's pretty sturdy right so one that we could I, I would immediately go to yeah. is everybody can see it on the screen it's Belma um, Belma yeah and so let's so let's go into this, this and, and it sort of sounds like Belmont another uh, you know another Benson fixation. Listen, there, there are, okay, so there's two things I like. Castlevania, I guess special B. Yeah, All right? if the two a, things. You know, if I have to admit it, it's special B. So hook it up, but I, I say we have an opportunity here to go, a, right. to do a, like a multi-hop scenario. Good. Like, I mean, I usually by the time we get to the end of this show, something that's guiding the recipe is the fact that it's like 1.30. Yeah. But I think that for this beast, this literal and figurative beast, mm -hmm. we should do what, generally speaking, you advocate, which is to be a little bit more sophisticated on yeah. the hop side. Well, and it's interesting too because of what we're making, right? We're making a stout. Yeah. So, generally, typically, you're not really deriving a ton of different um, hop flavors. But no, this is a different but at, beast. But at 66 a IBU, of I own, think yeah. that there's there's a possibility that something's going to come through. Exactly. And so you tell me about Belma. Uh, as a profile. I mean, when I, when I think Deep Crow, I'm thinking about dank. And, and luckily, Ooh. this is actually something that hops can provide for us very well. Well, what's interesting is, so if we if we think of it as a dank, dark hop. We do. We can layer that. So the first exactly. hop, 
can be what we're using as uh, the bittering and some some really top level flavoring. Like yeah. Belma is going to give us it's clean, but it's uh, going to give us a, an orange aroma to it. But then you come in and you l layer that with something that's a little more dank and grassy. I remember, no, we've used Velma, and it is so nice. Mm -hmm. So I would say, okay, let's let's do two that are gonna be at the top of this um, this beer for bittering. So with the Belma's gonna be uh, clean and... Such a, but it's such a, it'll be such a nice baseline along with the, the chocolate and even like the smoky taste. Mm -hmm. That well, is actually gonna be well, neat. Well, it's kinda neat, because for some reason it reminds me of the chocolate it's the candy, orange. It's like yeah, Christmas yeah. orange, right? Yeah. All right, so, so well, how can we back this thing up? Um, for, and this is for our base bittering, right? This yep. is where our big alpha is coming from. Yep. Northern Brewer isn't a bad choice. No. I love Northern Brewer. Um, it's great because it's, it's clean, it's dry, and it's not going to add any flavor additions that you don't want to be in there. Um, it's, it's really great for bittering. Yeah, it's a workhorse hop. Yep. Um, and so really the question is if we want to get that if we want to toss that orange thing in there. Huh. Uh, Action Economist, nothing would bring us more pleasure. Uh, we are talking about that deep crow. Mm -hmm. That deepest of crows. Dankness, yeah, it's dangness. Saus fiere. <laughs> yeah, that, these are, we, we can't lose here. No. I mean, uh, the, the truth is, I think the orange would be a really neat inflection, mm -hmm. but if we end up throwing in Northern Brewer and that ends up setting up our our baseline, right? And then that's you, then you too. think about okay, so one deep curl, but also you know all the what, deep places what, of the earth. Yeah, what's going to play off of all these dark flavors that we have right um, inside of this beer? But yeah, I mean we we've had bags, you know we've had. Um, hot pouches that we've torn open and it's just like fucking socks. Yeah. And it's like, not in a bad way. No. <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is like, I, I think, especially like at, at Whirlpool, something at the end, I think the sockier, the better. <laughs> Straight socks. Right? Yeah. Sock Max. Sock Max 2000. Grab the yeah. sock lever and then throw it just all the way to sock. Pour it in. It's like that old uh, Willy Wonka thing where he's just chucking in the clothes, mm -hmm. stirring them, and yeah, you know, and those the candy intense flavors. Ooh, whoa, that pole flipped. Yeah, I know. Interesting. I know. But, uh, th there are those, obviously, who say that um, you know the orange is is a strange venue, and I I completely understand. But by the same token. Uh, there is so much going on. The truth is, is that as a note, it's going to be present, but there is so much going on in the, the guts of this beer. Is that an interesting flavor, everyone? Are you guys reading the uh, Wakatu? Wakatu? Dude, this, sounds, this already sounds as though it hails from the deep places of the Right, earth. but it gives you a... It's floral with hints of lime. Hints of sock. With hints of deep sock. <laughs> With a rich, socky aroma. Mm. I've never even heard of Wakatu. Oh, it's a... It's a, it's a holler toe. A holler toe derived product. Yeah. Belma it is, my friend, for, the, for our base. Very, right. That's, that's going to be a big taste. Oh, I love this machine. I yeah. love this it machine. It is weird. It is weirdly better, I think, than the uh, than the other one. And okay. the, the coolest part about it is that this is um, someone who works there was willing to let us. Sort well, of it, it was one of the um, people. It was actually somebody who had purchased a Z. So somebody in the crowd. I don't know who it is, but you're amazing. Somebody in the crowd let us jump ahead in line and oh, get their and just spot. use the borrowed device? Yeah. I appreciate it. Right now, so um, we have our, our bittering hop. Right. Now we're talking about what do we layer in uh, on the back. So mm -hmm. this is not going to add a lot of bitterness. No, but this is going to be there's all a lot flavor of in a row. presence and then the top of the glass. So, yeah, so what, what kind of, is this really where the dank 
smell comes I, in. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that I think that the danker the better. I think that this is where we arrive at that wetness. This is rotten leaves. We can't get this yet, but look. Mm-hmm. Aroma hops gathered from the highlands of Ethiopia are sun-dried and packed fresh. This is just all I can think of is getting our Ethiopian coffee beans uh, from this. Look at this. Well, yeah, because, because oh, yeah, Gesho is the, is the same. Yes, it, it's a, it's the region, right? Yeah. I They're have never seen an Ethiopian aromatic hop. sticks and stems. Now, historically, sticks and stems that has not been something we've sought out. I have never once Actually, heard of that's, using stems. That's kind of a neat for a, d- a crow, a deep crow building a nest. Sticks and stems. Sticks and stems. Can we get them? Well, let's check it out. Gesho Cattell. Yes, we. Can, I mean, we can get them. We just have to order them from like Northern Brewery. Well, well, well let's do it. Yeah, I mean, let's do it ahead of time. So, are you gonna see if you can see if you can stash them? Yeah. If my internet works. More like sticks and stems will break my hems. <laughs> my zone. Yeah. Sticks. Go to Northern Brewer. Yeah, yeah, can do. Because my internet apparently, I got home you. doesn't want to, you know, come up and say hi. I got you. Northern Brewer. America's number one homebrew supplier. What? That's crazy. And type in that Gesho name. Gesho could tell. Sticks and stems. Sticks and stems. Of we'll break your hops. Ooh, hold on. No. Uh-uh. They know have it. No. Where did you find this shit? It's in Brewsmith. Gesho could tell. Hops. Hops, you know what? Hop, Gesho could tell hops. Mm-hmm. Buy. I think I've... I think I've created the ultimate. <laughs> the ultimate in search categories. American Aroma Hop Sleeves. Yep, we can get it. Put it on the list. But look at this. This Whoa. doesn't look anything like a fucking hop. What Very cool. is this stuff? This looks like salad. This looks like a bowl of salad. This is vegetable matter. Uh, Burundo's organic aroma hops are sun-dried and gathered, handcrafted for brewing ease and packed fresh. This aromatic blend flavors century-old tradition. They use it to hop uh, Ethiopian mead. Shut up, really? (laughs) Yeah. Oh, I don't know. That's... That's got to happen here. So let, let's just say, uh, should we stuff? We should do this, right? I mean, we we should just do it. We should put we should put at the end. Josh, you want to bring that up? Yeah. Look at this salad bowl. <coughs> so we, <laughs> I don't know, ghostly dude. I don't know. So <laughs> <laughs> so we should Belma. Mm-hmm. As our bittering hop, it'll be there for the whole process, and then at the end, for some reason, mm-hmm. and the whirlpool phase, right? So we're yeah. we're we're constraining the yeah. amount well, of bitterness we get from right, these. Right, but we're extracting all of those delicious flavors that are going to come off of this. This is going to be dank as hell. I, uh, this this salad here, this arugula. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we have to do it. I, I'm, 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 it's like, generally speaking, I think if I were to put the poll up, I think I could comfortably say yeah, that I mean, people are okay. Let's just throw the hammer down on this one. With the deep crow beverage at the end, oh, a I'm, lot of garbage. <laughs> yeah. We're going to put a lot of filth, uh, pack it in to the end um, and try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it, yeah, I think it's going to be neat. This is going to work. Um, but, so what that means, and S.A. Wells will be uh, overjoyed to learn, uh, it is time, oh no, we need a yeast. We do need a yeast. 
Huh. So, so what do we think? This is a stout. Yeah. So, oh yeah, I was gonna say, London Ale is always the London Ale is, it, a, is a great it's one. The baseline. It's gonna beep beep. Oh, oh God, I'm I'm. Uh, this is like PTSD. What does it say? What do those big letters say? It says, it says, in, it says to, uh, oh no, it's, it's there. Uh, I Remember, think it, you gotta go through each step now. It no, tells no, you what exa- to do. No, exactly, yeah. it's like, hey, make sure this thing is in here. Yeah. It's, it's fine. But the best part about that is the program, we can customize that in, I know, I'm so in, the, back, in the back. Because before, like when we were going through the Goza, right, that, and, and Annie hit it right on the, on the head. Um, it, it has to do with styles. No, well, right? You, well, it has to do with the body. Yeah. When you're brewing, the temperature you're brewing at affects the body right. of the beer as well. So um, now we can more accurately adjust to the body type and characteristic of the beer that we want, where before it was just you set the high brew efficiency and then it was done. Yeah, exactly. But we, we can actually go in and do the guide the temperature in a way mm-hmm. like we did when we were at Two Beers, where it's yeah. like there's different phases yeah, of this am, process, right? I'm overjoyed so, at this point. So, uh, so London Ale for the base? London Ale is going to give you dry, bold, rich, um, and a little bit of fruit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then what's the uh, secondary option? Oh, this is interesting. So there's Northwest Ale... This is this would typically be used for like one of our IPAs, right? Oh, but think about it. How, I like do, this. Here how does this play with this type of beer, especially the deep crow beer, right? Where it's um, you get a little bit of the fruit, but it really hits home with the malt flavor. Yeah, I think that could be pretty nice. Small fruit, big malt. I think that's the. I think that that is a, a very tasty. Galactose. I think you're 100 percent right. Galactois. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a rub the rub the grains. It's the grain rubber. There's, it's actually in the system now. They put it in the system when you have to sing. Actually, a step. <laughs> okay. So let's let that run there. They're looking for that London ale, but then you get the Northwest ale. And they're, they're special and important, too, right? Yeah, I mean, let's not, um, you know, London doesn't have to get it all the time. No, exactly. And it's like, hasn't, hasn't London Ale Yeast done enough? Yeah, for, well, what has it done for you lately, really? Exactly. Well, lots. <laughs> lots here. So does it even work? Does it even work with this new, this new technology? I'm intimidated. It's like in Robocop. Uh, That's really weird. This is, I love that you're going. Um, I love that you're going to this space with it. Continue. Yeah. I, I just I just watched it again, and it's like, yeah. Can I have a relationship with this evil machine? Maybe. Maybe. I'm willing to consider it. Do you have to feed it meatballs? Yeah, exactly. Possibly. All right. Let's see. I, I do feel the heat. I, the heat is running wild and sweet. Hot summer nights. Oh, Frosty. That's actually right. a really interesting way to look at it. Exactly, but no. Uh, what's vital is that we make sure that this that that this device uh, is welcome. Well, is welcome that it understands that it is a part of the family, mm-hmm. um, and that we are here to honor this device. But everybody in his family pulls its weight. Right. <laughs> right. We're all together. <laughs> yeah. But no, actually, I just I just learned a new song. Really. I, I can do the first verse of it. I think. Okay. Return so of the Mac. No, no, it's not, no, it's not oh, that. It, that's that a great. I already. Awesome. I did not just learn Return of the Mac. <laughs> Let's be very clear. <laughs> so your best friend screwed you over, acted nice when she not nice. Well, I have some advice, because it's happened to me twice. Here's my secret strategy. It always works because the world doesn't end. It just feels like it does. There that's we go. Great. Uh, th- they made a, a musical of uh, Mean Girls somehow. Shut the fuck up, really? Oh, yeah. It's from that. It's a fucking baller song. I play it for Some, my daughter. Sometimes this world is an amazing place. I play it for my daughter every day. <laughs> um, so, what do we got here? 
Wow, the London Ale is going... London Ale, dude, they want the classic well, flavor. But you oh, know what's funny? Like, um, Frosty got on the head. How do you have a, a, a Raven Crow-inspired beer without uh, you, having uh, you London? You flex London, yeah. right? Yeah, no, I get it. I get it now. So, Essay, as I suggested before, uh, now is your time. I know that you've been working on these dark, you know, these dark, evil, deep bird uh, titles all week. All week so, long. All week long. So it's time for you to all jump night. in here. All night. All night. All night long. Nah. All right, anyway. So, uh, name time. Ooh, beak wetter. <laughs> beak wetter. A murder of crows. Beak full of sticks. <laughs> A serrated beak. God, dank nest. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, essay, a beak full of sticks. Fucking zero dark thirsty. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Craw of the void. Fuck, Dan Crow energy. Dan Crow energy. Oh, my God. Zero dark thirsty. Jesus. Good Lord. Liquid murder, yeah. Magpie is interesting. Yeah. Oh, Call of the Void, yeah. Well, b both of them work. <laughs> Call of the Void. Oh. Some yeah. kind of Cacra. bird. Kakra. Yeah, and the Kakra to you. The underdeck, well. yeah. The deep maw. Yeah. Underdeck, I'm with it. Drink crows so that's so deep, deep crowd crowd sourced. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! You! You're good, you. No. Proto only delivers the subtle humor. Yeah. But I like Evan Wing just because I can think of the um, label. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Never pour. Ha! That's great, too. Kinku's choice. Oh, yeah. Drinky Crow, obviously a classic. Oh, indeed, yeah, Raven, Raven's like, oh, oh, <laughs> Raven's in here. Mm. Oh. Yeah, there's definitely some sticks. Ah, you know what, here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put one in. I've never put one in before. Yeah, I'll throw right. that one in there. We'll see how it goes. Mm. No, murders, yeah. Well, I know in Ariston. Obviously, there's a lot of disappointment. Red-eyed Raven. <coughs> and grab one more. Sticks and stone. A dank brood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The crevice. I like it. The crevasse. All right. So take a look at these. Jack da. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Urbird. Urbird beer. Been that brood, brood. Which one did you put in? Crack Pie? Raven Kill. Thank you so much. Right, I don't see it. Oh. What was yours? There's a few on there. No, the one you specifically. Uh, I put in Sticks and Stones. Oh. I, I, I kept expecting there would be a Sticks, Sticks. Yeah, somebody, I thought somebody mentioned this. Yeah. Uh, SA, of course, has Beak Flow Sticks. Ah, that's it. That's what I was thinking. Oh, God, what a great image. A though. yeast for crows? <laughs> a yeast for Son crows. Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's great. That's the A plus content. God damn. I'm loving it. Uh, Tradius is a deep crow nest in uh, Erie. Yes, absolutely. Um, in fact, there's a really, really cool uh, painting, like a high fantasy style uh, execution of a deep crow in the AI. Is it really? Book. Very yeah. cool. Well, because deep crows are in the, yeah. in the monster section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a, there's a uh, ordinary deep crow and there's also an ancient deep crow. Um, but the <coughs> art, the art is legit. Like a painting, like an oil painting That's of a fantastic. deep crow up on that uh, crag. The astro crag? That crag, though. Beak wetter. Oh, beak wetter. Hey, now, Josh, were you able to uh, figure out a situation back there with the new PC? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so Mike's, uh, he had one of those surface... Uh, desktop type machine, mm. Surface Studio, I think it was called. Yeah. 
uh, and it uh, it gave up hard. It gave oh, up, really? It, it gave up in such in, in a way that like we don't we don't have any idea. There's no indication of any kind what happened. It's just a tombstone now. Um, but of course, uh, our producer Josh was able to work out uh, a good situation. And and as soon as he put it back there, of course, Mike installed Dauntless on the machine that Josh brought oh, God, back. I really want to get. Back, I want to jump back into well, it's, it. It's it releases today. Yeah, it's no. dude. It's any platform. Yeah, I, I could play I saw on the PS4. PC. No, yeah. I mean, he was playing it on PS4 before. I mean, I could play on PC. You could play on PS4. It doesn't even matter. This is fantastic. They don't even. They don't even, they don't even give an Did S. you see the new class? Yeah. Oh, with the pistols. Pistols. Yeah. They've done so much since we were gone. Yeah. Um, look, Zero Dark Thirsty. Um, I'm going to let this go for another second or so. Zero Dark Thirsty by a nose. Yeah, Ebon, look at Ebonwing. Yeah, no, it's, it's lovely, obviously. I, 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 yeah. It's very, very good stuff. There we are. Zero Dark Thirsty. So that is our uh, legitimately, like this is a statement beer. This, is a, this, this, is, this beer is meant to found uh, a religion and a culture. <laughs> um, thank you so much for rolling through. Uh, obviously, uh, we completed our labors from last week. Of course, thanks also to uh, Pico, Annie, yeah. and, uh, Annie and Greg. So nice of them to come out. So nice of them to let us put their uh, new device over here through its paces. The device has been sung to, indeed show mm. tunes. So Literally. I mean... So, you couldn't ask for a better way to be welcomed into the family than Mean Girls. No, exactly. Uh, just uh, just apply a layer of it mm-hmm. right to the top. 